everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I've got an H&M haul for you guys. I love me some H&M. I would say if there's one store that encapsulates my true personal fashion, it's H&M. I've been shopping there for years. I love it. I love the price point and I just love their style. So I've got a mix of things to show you guys, some casual pieces, some workwear pieces, some great, some not so great. So stick around if you wanna see what I got. And everything I mentioned, I will link in the description box below, as well as all of my sizing information. So if you have any questions about that, look down below. And also, if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I upload videos weekly, hauls, also some beauty content. And if you like hauls, give this one a thumbs up. It helps me out a whole lot. So thank you in advance. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the top that I'm wearing right now. So I am loving, if you've been watching my hauls recently, I have been loving green for the spring. So these like darker sage greens and also mint greens are super in right now and they're just very fresh and add a little subtle pop of color without being like over the top neon or anything like that. So I have this silk V-neck shirt. So it's definitely a V-neck. It does not have buttons above this button right here. So it's not like your traditional button up that goes all the way up. So I kind of like that. It's a little more relaxed, a little more open. This comes in several colors. And I've actually had this shirt for a few months now. This isn't something I purchased with this haul, but I wanted to share it because I absolutely love this shirt. I think it's such a wardrobe staple to have for workwear, but also just for like a night out, a date night type of situation where you could literally wear this with a pair of jeans and it looks like you tried really hard just because of the texture of the shirt. So I'm absolutely loving this. I got my normal size small and I think it fits really nice. It's kind of that in between, um, it's not oversized, but it's not super fitted and it's long enough that you could tuck it in to a skirt or a pair of pants very easily without it coming out, you know, in the back or something. So absolutely love, love this shirt. So definitely check it out and check out the other colors. Now in the try on portion, I did pair it with these pair of slacks. So I really, really like these pants a lot. First of all, the color is very spring. It's kind of that like taupey, I don't, I don't see a color. I'm gonna call it sand. <laughs> I am a little bit on the slightly shorter side. So I'm five foot three and I got my normal size four and I love how these fit in the waist and in everything else, but I especially love how they fit lengthwise. I think probably on someone that is taller than me, it would look a little more cropped on you. These hit right at my ankle and I really, really like that. So I definitely, definitely would suggest these if you are looking for like a dress pant. I think these are very high quality, very neutral that they're gonna go with everything. And of course these come in other colors if this is not your cup of tea. And they're calling this style the slim slacks regular waist. I don't know what regular waist means. I have no clue what that means. Uh, I've never heard that before. But I think that they fit pretty, you know, not super high-waisted, but pretty high-waisted and I just love them. I'm really sad that this did not work out for me because I actually really, really love this loungewear set. Now it's a set, but they're sold separately. So you don't necessarily have to wear them together, but I thought it was going to be like a super cute, like wear around the house, but look a little sexy type of look or wear them separately with different outfits. It's sort of meant to be looking like a bustier top with the boobs kind of cut out the, but it's really just the cotton material, not super structured. I got a size medium because I do wear a size 34C for my bra size, which I would consider a medium. And this was way, way too big. I would definitely suggest sizing down, but I was afraid that if I were to size down that the cutouts on the boobs would literally come up halfway up, up through there. So I, 
I don't think, personally, I don't think if you have a large bust that this makes sense. I don't know, it just, it's not adjustable. It's just kind of baggy in weird places. So, mm, I don't really like this for me and I'm not even going to return it for a smaller size. I'm just gonna return it altogether. Just, it, it's just not for me. The idea I love, and especially with the, pa the pants, the pants I love, 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 love. Okay, I, I have to admit, I do love that flared pants are coming back. I, I do think that they are extremely flattering. I think, especially for someone that's short, and I have short legs, I feel like they're very lengthening and make me look and feel taller than I actually am. So I love these. This is like a ribbed oatmeal type of color and it's got the ribbing detail. I got my normal size small in these and they fit perfect. They are definitely very long, but again, I expect that when I can't get a short inseam, I always expect the pants to be too long for me. It's really not the end of the world, especially if I was just wearing them around the house. Um, but I could also just cut the bottoms if I wanted to. I love how high-waisted they are. They make me feel really like snatched looking in the waist. Oh, I just love it. I think these are super cute. I paired that with a cardigan that I had already from Walmart. I will link that down below. It's like my favorite cardigan that I own. I have it in a few different colors. And I thought that that cardigan was gonna look perfect with this outfit. And I really like how all the tones came together for that. I think that that loungewear set, the one I just showed you, on H&M's website, they do have a cardigan that goes with it, but I wasn't gonna bother buying it because I already had a matching cardigan. Okay, along the same lines as this flared, well, they're calling them flared leggings, right? But they're yoga pants in my mind. Now these are interesting. They're not quite a yoga pant. They are a little more structured than a yoga pant, but not quite dress pants. It's hard for me to explain. Let me see, what's the material? I mean, they are mostly polyester. It is, it's a cheap feeling material, I'm not going to lie. It's definitely not like the highest quality of material. But something that I love about these is that they have that split hem on the side. So it kind of just falls over your shoes in a very flattering way. I really like that these are high-waisted. I did get my normal size small and I feel like because they're polyester, they're not like the most stretchy, like a regular yoga pant. You know, a cotton yoga pant is super stretchy. I do have a little bit of um, more like muscular thighs and I do feel like they were quite tight over my legs and they weren't very stretchy. So I would say, you know, if you want to size up, if you feel like you have like, you know, bigger thighs or a bigger butt, you would probably want to size up but the waist part fit me, so mm, it's kind of one of those things you have to just try it out and see for yourself. But I do love the style of these. I did style them a couple of different ways. I styled them for like workwear purposes with a blazer and just like an all black type of moment. I thought that was super cute. And I also showed you a way that you could wear it casual, just with like a crew neck and a pair of sneakers. I thought it was a very cool, just like model off duty type of vibe. So I am loving the silhouette of like the flared pant with the slit on it. I think it's super cute and super flattering. The casual outfit of that with this bag, I love quilted bags. I just think they're so chic, they're so classy. They class up any outfit. Like in the try on, I was just trying on this, you know, casual sweatshirt and a pair of yoga pants. And as soon as I paired it with this bag, I felt like the look came together. So it's definitely supposed to be like a designer look for less. Quality of this is pretty nice. I will say that the actual strap is very thin. So it's not like the most durable thing in the world, but again, it's very inexpensive. This isn't an investment piece or anything like that. It has a magnetic closure, which is really nice. And I just love like the vibe of this slouchy crossbody bag. Okay, I did get a couple of dresses that I want to share with you guys. So, um, this one is also another kind of fail for me. I was not a fan of this dress. I mean, I'm a fan of it looking at it, but on me, it just did not work out. So, it's just this black ribbed sort of sweater dress type of material. Very sexy, so up my alley of like this slinky little black dress, like bodycon type of thing. Absolutely love it. 
But when I, as soon as I got it in the mail, I observed that the actual straps themselves are extremely flimsy. I'm almost afraid to store it on a hanger because like the weight of the actual dress is stretching out the straps. And honestly, I really think that's what happened because when I put this dress on, the neckline is extremely low, like extremely low to the point where I cannot wear a bra and I almost don't feel comfortable because I feel like there might be like a nip slip situation. <laughs> so unfortunately for me, this does not work out. Although I do love the dress. I love the idea of the dress, especially with the slit right in the front for your leg to kind of just pop out. Oh, like if I could have this in my wardrobe as a staple, I totally would. But unfortunately, just this one didn't work out for me. I did get my normal size small and it's just a little too low in the neckline for me. Also, I did get this silky shirt dress from the divided line. It's kind of going with the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Absolutely love this dress. I love how it fit. I love the look. And it's just basically like an oversized satin shirt with a little tie waist so you can add some shape to your body and it's not just completely oversized. Absolutely love that. I got my normal size small. It fits me perfect. Um, I will say this is probably not for a workwear situation only because the side of the dress goes up quite dramatically and you'll probably see it in the try on. So I don't know if it's necessarily workwear appropriate. So I would say if you're tall, this is definitely not workwear appropriate, but nevertheless, I do love this dress. Nevertheless, I love this dress. Okay. And my next outfit, I would say this is between cropped and not cropped. <laughs> you know, it's not so cropped that it's going to show your midriff, but it's definitely good for more high waisted type of bottoms. This just basic white long sleeve tee. Okay. I will say I don't really like this tee. I don't like the quality of it. It's definitely more of like a slightly itchy material. If you are looking for some really good basics, I highly suggest target. Uh, they are killing it with their like basic tanks, basic tees right now. I think that they're so amazing and they're extremely, extremely affordable. But anyway, so this is from the divided line. I got my normal size small. It does fit me fine. And then I paired it with this super cute. <laughs> okay. I paired it with this super cute faux leather tulip skirt. So I love the mauve color. It is very spring. It's different than our usual like black or dark brown faux leather skirt. Love that. Okay. I will say the fit of it, is this in the divided? Yeah, this is the divided line. I did size up to a size six. I normally wear a size four. So I think I read reviews and it said to size up. It's short. It's very short. In the front where it does this crisscross, I was feeling the breeze. I mean, I was afraid that if I made any sort of swift movement, I was gonna be showing things to people that I didn't really wanna show. So I'm going to go ahead and say, if you're very petite, this would work great for you. Um, but I am five foot three once again. So I am on the shorter side and it is very short on me. So I would say if you're any taller than me to skip over this one, I would definitely su suggest sizing up because it was very tight on my hip and butt area and the waist fit me pretty nicely though. So I was glad that I did size up. Okay. And this is the thing I was probably the most excited about receiving was this mint green blazer. So I am loving these tones. Like I've already said, loving, loving, loving these tones. And something that I do love about H and M is they have like a sustainable line where they are using a lot of recycled materials to create their pieces. And so this is made from a recycled source, which is really cool. I got my normal size small in this and it is extremely oversized, like extremely oversized. I'm not a huge fan of like extremely oversized blazers. I don't mind one that's a little bit baggy or a little bit more of like a boyfriend fit, but this one was just too big for me. I wish that I had sized down to an extra small. So I would definitely suggest sizing down unless you want something like very oversized, almost like you stole it from your boyfriend or your like even your dad's closet. I mean, it's quite large. So um, 
Other than that, the actual material of it is very, very nice, very high quality. The color is beautiful, just not the look I'm going for in terms of the sizing. And then I have my last little outfit, and this is definitely more of our casual vibe, very spring, and definitely what we're seeing everywhere are these peasant type tops. I got this in a bright yellow just because I wanted to add a little pop of color going with these pastel themes, which I'm loving. This is from the Divided line and I did size up to a medium just because of my bust area. I figured that um, I didn't want to be squished and I'm glad I sized up because it fits perfect. And I actually had quite a bit of room in the chest area, so I was really loving that. It's got a smocked back, so very, very stretchy. And um, I just love, love yellow for spring, actually. I'm not usually a yellow person, but I am loving it this spring. Right, you guys, and that's it for this H&M haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece was from this haul. And also, I would love to hear any suggestions of any other stores that you would like me to shop from. I'm always looking for different stores to shop from and different sorts of inspiration. So please leave it down below in the comments. Like I said, everything that I talked about, I will link in the description box. And until next time, I will see you next time. No, it's not right. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.